Hey guys, I'm Tara with Tara Simon Studios and today I am doing a very special interview with my very <laughs> special little unicorn, Miss Angelica <laughs> Hale. You guys have been asking and asking and I thought, okay, well, we're live in Atlanta for some lessons. We're working on some songs for some performances and I, I snagged her at the end of one so that we could say hi to you guys. So I have some questions that I want to ask her, but first go ahead and say who you are. And... Hi everyone, I'm Angelica Hale and I was the runner up on America's Got Talent and a finalist on the most recent America's Got Talent, The Champions, which aired just this year. And I'm doing yes! And by the way, I literally just released my very first single for my debut album, Feel the Magic, if you guys didn't know. You can go check that out on all social media platforms. I mean, all music platforms, too. Yes. But yes, I'm so happy that I get to be interviewed by the wonderful Miss Tara. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, so there's some questions that, uh, that you guys have been asking me to ask her, and so we're going to just go through them, and you guys can get Angelica's candid answers on what the deal is. So um, the first one is, first of all, how did you find me anyway? I don't even know if I know this. <laughs> well, we found you on the internet. We were searching for some of the best vocal coaches in town, okay. and we found you, and we're like, okay, we're going to give this woman a try. <laughs> <laughs> okay, awesome. And, um, okay, so... What were some of your struggles with in regards to singing before you started working with me? Right, so before I started working with you, I had a lot of trouble with my belt. Mm -hmm. I was an all-mixed girl, and uh, when I first met you, you saw that I, I didn't really have such a strong belt, and so you helped me develop that, which mm -hmm. was awesome, and now I sing so many awesome belt songs, a lot of power, and mm -hmm. comes from my diaphragm, yes. and using my abs, so it's great, <laughs> and, and I thank you so much for teaching me that, because it's, it's very essential. I'm glad that I learned how to do belt, because that's one of the most, uh, one of the most ideal things when you yeah. sing powerhouse songs yes. and stuff like that, right? Power singer, absolutely, yeah. absolutely, <laughs> that's awesome. So, in the first lesson, when you first met me, what was your first, be nice. <laughs> Shouldn't have filtered for people. What was your first impression of working with me like? Yes, well, my first impression of working with you was I thought you were fantastic. I was actually writing in my diary. I paid her to say that. Okay. No! Oh my gosh, you're so mean! No, I was, oh, oh yeah, tell about the diary though, because that's super Right, cute. yeah. I was uh, actually writing my diary before I went to the voice lesson. I was like, I wonder what she's going to be like. Is she going to be nice? Is she going to help me a lot? I wonder who she is. I, she's on the X Factor, I heard. And um, I actually, after the voice lesson, I was like, oh my gosh, she's amazing. She's so pretty. She has the best voice. <laughs> and, you know, I mean, my first impressions of you, that you were really awesome. And That's awesome. And it was great being able to, you know, give you a chance and actually yeah. work with you. Okay, so when I, <laughs> when I am in a lesson with Angelica and I'm telling her to do something, um, Afterwards, she says this thing, and it was always a little weird to me, but I was focused and didn't care, so months went by, and she kept doing it, and so one day I was like, why do you, why do you say that when I, when I ask you to do something? So I'll say, Angelica, I need you to, I don't know, drop your jaw more and, and engage your abs more. Can we do it again? And you would say? Yes, ma'am, sir. <laughs> and I don't really know why she would say that. So why? Why do you, why do you say yes, ma'am, sir? I call you ma'am, sir, because you have the attitude and strength of a man, but you look like a woman. <laughs> yeah. Am I right, guys? Am I right or am I right? I, uh, sure. <laughs> One of the reasons we're doing this interview is because I think it's really important for today's generation of, of singing hopefuls to understand that it's not just all sunshine and rainbows and butterflies and perfection and glamour on a stage. It's right. not. It's not about the celebrity of it. Um, you love to sing. It's. It's who you are. You're designed to be a singer. You were born to entertain, and so you're just simply stepping into your calling. The the fame and the recognition. That's all a byproduct of you just being authentic to who yeah. you are. Exactly yes. who you are. I love singing. Yes, it's my passion, right. and I don't do it because of. All the things that come out of it, I do because I love to do it. I right. do it because it's my passion, and I really can't see myself doing anything else yes. rather than singing. Right. Singing is who I am. Right. I mean, singing is a part of who I am. Absolutely. I'm Angelica Hale. I have a big personality, but 
I love singing. Yeah, that's what it's I what do. That's what you do. That's yes, what you do. That's what I do. And she works hard for it. So it's not, it's, you know, <clears throat> people see the stage and they see the result. But a lot of times um, there are people that aren't secure enough in their talent to let them, let others see the work. And yeah. Angelica's here today to let you guys know that there's work behind it. And we do vocal exercises. We are constantly working on technique. Um, we're constantly working on range expansion with Angelica. We work on breath control breath expansion right? right because those little lungs we got to hold yes. lots of high and long <laughs> yeah. notes sometimes we work on vocal flexibility um vocal mapping her songs working yeah. on the riffs and runs sometimes in certain songs we will want to kind of cover really truly the way the original singer does it yes. right and then yes. sometimes like yeah, AGT, a spice. we spice it up <laughs> as, as her mom will say and then we put a little some something on it you know yeah. and and that's when you you hear her do those really high whistle tones or those amazing runs that just make you pop out of your seat and you're so exhilarated to hear so there's a lot of technique and and work that goes behind it and yeah. you are the hardest little worker i've had the Thank pleasure of, of coaching <laughs> i'm sure a lot of you guys would like to know um, Angelica's had a lot of success, but has she ever faced any rejection? That's a real part of the industry too, and it happens to everyone. If it if it doesn't, then you've never tried at all because you're guaranteed to be rejected at some point. So Angelica, yes. can you tell us of a time that prior to you getting on to AGT that you did not get a yes? Yes, absolutely. So I actually tried out for AGT the year before, okay. and I actually didn't make it. So when you got that no, you didn't let it stop you. No. You kept on training, you kept on working, and then the next year you tried, yes. you got on. Yes. And then how important can you tell us was training while you were on AGT? Right. And how important is it now that you're off the show? Because we kind of trained in two different ways, right? We did, One we for did. competition style, mm -hmm. when it was like singing for your life, you don't know when the last time the next time you're gonna be on air is going to be, if ever, versus maintenance training for performances that come up. So tell us a little bit about the importance of training on AGT and if it was at all and if it is still now. It is very important. When I was training on AGT, I mean, you had to work your hardest, but you still had to be sure to take care of your vocal cords mm -hmm. and not blow them out before the big day. It was very, very helpful that Miss Tara was there for me during those times and helping me get through it and all the technique that she was giving me. I mean, thank goodness for Skype, right? <laughs> yes, really. But you always have to remember because I, sometimes in my mind I even forget when training for AGT, I still train as hard uh, till this very day and sometimes I forget that I'm not doing a competition anymore mm -hmm. and that I need to lay it back on some points mm -hmm. uh, in order not to wreck my voice it's so true and it's almost like like being in shock you know like we trained sometimes at like 11 at night like I right. felt like I was a doctor on call for Angelica <laughs> because you know bless her heart it wasn't even her fault she was in rehearsal or yeah. they would they there were times when the song would be changed last minute right, exactly. we worked for a week on a song and well we're not doing that anymore we get to learn another one by oh yeah tomorrow <laughs> so it, we had a very limited amount of time to do a lot and so it was it was a do or die kind of we have to give every single performance the chance of a lifetime on the stage because you don't know if that's going to be your last time moving forward or not. Versus now you're asked to do shows where you sing four, five, six songs in a row. Yeah. And they're not asking for easy songs, folks. They're no. asking for the AGT song. Oh, yeah. Only in a row. <laughs> so it's like, it's not a sprint anymore. It's a marathon. And it there is. are two totally different ways of training for competition versus training for longevity and performability within right. that specific venue that they're hiring you to, yeah. to sing. So that's actually a really good point. So tell us, Angelica, how has your confidence, your um, ability to perform, your technique, how has that improved uh, since you've been taking lessons with me. Oh, it's improved a lot. I mean, when I was uh, beforehand, I was I didn't know too much about ab work or as I said, belting and mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So when I when I came with you, I learned a lot more about that and explored the world of a uh, belt and a mixed belt too mm -hmm. and whistle. Of course, I can't forget that. I realized I could do whistle when I started out with you. Yeah, and it was great. And um, now since I'm going through this stage in life called puberty. <laughs> I have to learn how to focus on, you know, uh, how to control myself and control my whistle and yeah. still uh, practice that every day to mm -hmm. make sure I still have that because there was a point in time, oh lord, that point in time where I was like, oh, 
<laughs> Lucy Mel was so I wasn't Mel was so hysterical. And she's like, no, you're not. No, she wasn't. Not. I wasn't. She wasn't. I saw him. I was Trust me. I'm okay. I'm okay. Well, and puberty is a thing for both girls yeah. and boys, right? Yeah. It's it's more prevalent and more widely known in boys, but it's a thing with girls too. Yes, it is. And and Angelica is preteen, and she is a young woman and yes. there are there are changes happening and so working through that is is really really important to do with a coach uh, because there are things beyond your control that in your mind you're kind of freaking out about and you need that that yeah. voice of reason to be like no you're fine yes and that's and that's also what I learned with you when I started out with you and uh, men, uh, what is it? What is your what? Uh, fifty? Uh, what is what? About fifty percent mental, like. Oh! Oh my goodness! You don't know the words. <laughs> Come on! I'm sorry. <laughs> singing is. Singing is ninety percent mental, ten percent talent. Yay! Right? Yay! <laughs> she it to me. It's okay. Shh. Don't tell on <laughs> you talk about the two. Don't tell but, on yourself. Yeah, that's what I needed to learn during that time. And that's yes. some things that I still need to remember. That you need to be in a good place in mm-hmm. your city, or your soul, your body, your mind. Yes. And because if you're in like this panic state that I'm sometimes in, <laughs> then you're not gonna go well. You're just gonna completely freak out, and everything's just gonna go downhill. And you're just gonna mm-hmm. have a mental breakdown, and it just. You just have to remember that, yeah, singing is 90% mental and 10% talent. You heard it from her, folks. So you feel like you're able to kind of talk yourself down off the ledge now in yes, performances. exactly. Because you have the tools. Right, because I, I know that during performances, I know that everything's going to be fine. I just have to focus on my technique. Yes. And, of course, having a good state of mind. <laughs> yes, yes, Lord, yes. Yes. Okay, so last question, Angelica. What would you say to someone, say a, a girl your age who's standing in this room and saying, you know, you're so amazing, you're so great, I don't sing quite like that, and I, I, there's no amount of training that's going to get me to this point, there's no hope, why bother? Well, you know what I'd say to that little guy? I'd say, you have the wrong idea, little girl, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, so, sure, I was three years old, I was singing in the car seat, singing to Lady Antebellum, but no, I wasn't singing like this today. Mm-hmm. It took a lot of work and a lot of help mm-hmm. uh, to get to where I am today. It's it's a lot of training that I put into this and a lot yeah. of care for my vocal cords. Yes. Uh, you got to make sure you don't push yourself. And sure, if you don't think that you, that you have the ability to do that, you just have to remember that doing this is, isn't just like a walk in the park. No, right. it's, it's it, you have to put a lot of effort into it. Yes, there it does take a lot of work. I think a lot of people only see the come up. They don't yeah. see the struggle, the blood, sweat, and the tears. Right. And you are one of the hardest little workers I've ever met. And you know what? Practice makes awesome. It doesn't yes. make perfect. It makes awesome. It's and awesome. Angelica isn't just about the stage life. She's about that work life at home. Like, And you know her parents are amazing and supportive. And they make sure that she has the time that she needs, the setup that she needs, the support that she needs to uh, to really emphasize her and hone her craft on a daily basis. And I know that there are some of you out there who are saying like, well, I don't have supportive parents or I'm an adult and I have kids myself and I'm overextended. Um, I, I just can't do this. And it, it takes, Angelica is actually putting in more time than what I have. Well, I would, I would say that there are different levels of success and different uh, different types of singers that do different things and perform in, on different capacities. And in, and though Angelica is you know singing on worldwide stages, there's a need for others that are doing the same as her and others that are are performing on a local basis that take less. Uh, bandwidth from your life, right? And so um, Angelica takes private lessons from me, but if you are someone that doesn't have the time or your schedule's weird, or let's say you're around the world and you're in a different time zone and, and there's just no availability for live lessons online, well then you can do an eight-week course called Sing Smarter Not Harder. Um, and what Angelica learns in lessons is exactly what's in the course, like to the T. We, everything that we work on in our lessons, breath control, stamina, vocal flexibility, power with belting especially, yes. definitely in the course. <clears throat> and it's helped her so much and that will help you. It takes a singer from good to great and it does, you know what we even do in the course? The singer stands. Oh, that's great, that's great. I've ever since, by the way, ever since I went with you and I went singer stands, I've been doing it. Yep. 
boom, <laughs> and I can see it. Bless her, her little tiny body on those big stages with that power stance. I yeah. love it. <laughs> Makes my heart skip a beat. So yeah, we we are here to tell you that yes, it takes hard work. Yes, it takes talent, but. You need someone beside you. When I was young like Angelica and performing, I had a coach. You need someone to support you, to talk you off a ledge sometimes, and yeah. to also be that sounding board to give you different vocal ideas than what you would have for yourself, Absolutely. to push you beyond your limits. Yes. And uh, whether that's live lessons or something like Sing Smart Not Harder course, um, those things at TSS are here for you guys. And I hope that you really enjoyed, because I know I did, our time with Angelica. She is amazing. We love her. She's so wonderful. So listen, guys, <laughs> again, she's got a single out called Feel the Magic. Yes. I helped uh, with the with the project too. I was there um, vocal arranging and, and directing right. it while we were in the studio. We had a lot of fun. Yes, in the we studio. did. Lots of hours went on, um, and I'm so proud of the product. <laughs> she is an exceptional entertainer. Many more songs to come from her, so you want to make sure to get the first. Don't be lame and miss out on the very first <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> Go to any music outlet you can. Check out Feel the Magic. It is magical. It'll give you the fuzzies inside. And guys, as always, we will see you on the next one. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>